On this edition of NSFW, it's a massive one, folks. We are joined by our musical guest, I don't know, maybe he's part of the biggest band on the internet, Andrew Rose Gregory of the Gregory Brothers, not only performs, but gives us a hint as to what they have in store next. And also, I don't know, maybe he's part of the biggest franchise in science fiction history, Eric Walker, the original mace of the Tawani variety of the Ewok Adventures joins us. Please, NSFW show starts right now. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 79 for June 7th, 2011. Walker and or Ranger. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed to your PC, Mac, or TV instantly. Plus, get DVDs by mail in about one business day. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And squarespace.com. The fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free 14-day trial, go to squarespace.com slash NSFW. And be sure to check out their annual plans for savings of up to 20% off. Because our show is jam-packed with two representatives of awesome cultural franchises for which I'm a massive personal fan of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, normally, we get into uh, you know our, our guests and we have a whole bunch of fun up front. And then we do the summer music series. Unfortunately, we're going to switch it up a little bit uh, right now because uh, uh, of a time constraint. And I could not be happier to accommodate our guest, uh, we're getting to uh, Eric Walker of the Ewok Adventure in, in a minute. But first, let me introduce you to, uh, really, I'll, I'll tell you what, if you are a fan of our show or YouTube music in general, then you have to have heard of uh, his, uh, his band, his family band, the Gregory Brothers, performing 
from his album, The Song of Songs, for which you can make a reality by funding it on Kickstarter. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Rose Gregory. These guys. These guys. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks so much uh, for having me on the NSFW show. Oh, we're, we're, ha we're happy to have you. Uh, and, and please remind me again, because I'm a moron, what is the song that you are going to be playing for us tonight? I'm going to play a little song. Uh, it's called Where We Lie Down, Our Bed is Green. And it's from this new record that I'm trying to put out, like, like you said, on, on Kickstarter. It's all based on the Song of Songs, which is this beautiful book of love poetry from the Hebrew Bible or the Old Testament. A little bit, a little bit different uh, than Honor to the News, but uh, not much. Slightly. Yeah. It's saucy, yeah. though. It's saucy, the Song of Songs is. It's very saucy. There's a lot of like really intense pomegranate imagery. Really yes, actually, there imagery. is. There is. That's right. A lot of a lot of talking about like uh, comparing the parts of different people's bodies to the different parts of a goat's body. Yes, uh, yes. They're, your breasts are like uh, goats. It's very hot, especially very hot in the year 3000 BC. <laughs> and then uh, then there's this little song called "Where We Lie Down, Our Bed Is Green," which is sort of talking about the very verted places in a garden where a person might like to nap with another person. Well, let's hear it. Get it. Here we go. This, so this is where we lie down. Our bed is green. Where we lie down, our bed is green. Our raptors high, and our roof beams see. My left hand beneath your head, your right hand holds me close. I am in the fever. I am in the fever. I am in the fever. When And let me tell you, it's one of those things where, uh, first of all, like I, 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 I'm almost speechless because it's difficult when, when you're known so much for auto-tune the news. And of course, then you bust out like actual talent and, and a song that, that captures beauty in a bottle for, for the angels to sing. Uh, I got to be honest, it's got like, uh, uh, how do people react when they only know you from auto-tune the news and then you show up and, and blow their minds like that? Well, I mean, we, we joke around about that a little bit in that a lot of times people will say, we love auto-tune the news, but you guys make real music. <laughs> uh, to, to which we'll say, well, like, this might surprise you. You might not have noticed, but auto-tune the news is actual music. Yeah. It is comprised yeah. of music. Uh, but I think what people don't realize, uh, I mean, in all honesty, it, is that We've all been musicians and songwriters for a long time before we ever started making Auto to the News. I'd sort of been traveling around the country and, and playing folk music all over the country for four or five years before Auto to the News ever hit. 
And when you're a musician in this day and age, you, you just work on a ton of different projects. And all four of us just feel lucky that one of those projects that we all work on together, Audit to the News, sort of that it finally hit. But, you know, Sarah, or my sister-in-law, has a great uh, solo act. My brother Evan plays in a ton of bands. Michael used to, to front a rock band. And this, this has been my project for two or three years since before Audit to the News ever started. So I, I just thought, you know what, uh, this is a great project that people don't know about. Um, but sort of using the, the Internet and sort of using... Uh, our fan base from YouTube and, and using Kickstarter, which I think is such a great website. Maybe I can finally get this album out. Well, I'll tell well, you what, seems folks, like if, if, you, if you liked what you listened to and you want to support Andrew, please, uh, somebody actually made a, 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 a URL just for listeners of NSFW. It is kck.st slash NSFW Song of Songs. That will get you to Andrew's uh, Kickstarter page. And please, I mean, do me a favor, not only to help uh, what is a very, very worthy cause in, in your album, and I know I want to hear it, and I, uh, I will donate to this cause, but also to let everybody know that, uh, you know, if they're a, a musician or an artist that is looking at as a Kickstarter, that they, they can come on NSFW and have their art uh, supported. Uh, Andrew, let me just say, I, I, I love uh, Audit in the News. That's been one of the things that uh, I, I really, uh, you know, has always impressed me about the project is that, it's as funny as it is musically awesome. Uh, you know, is there, uh, what is the future of, of, of that project? I mean, I heard a while ago that you guys were working with Comedy Central. Uh, where, where do you go next with stuff like that? Well, gee, I mean, it's, it's, we sort of work on a, we're trying to, at this, on one hand, keep working on the, on the stuff we've been working on for years. Um, uh, one really exciting piece of news is I think we're going to drop uh, a video that I'm really excited about in the next day or two on YouTube. We haven't dropped a YouTube video in two or three months. It's going to be really funny, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been working on it all day, and I, I've really gotten cracked up about it. But at the same time, we're working on stuff that's a lot bigger. Excuse me? Can you drop a hint? What, 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 what you got in store in the next 48 hours? Just for, just for people listening. It's just us just here. A little hint. A little just hint. Just a little hint. If just a little hint. If you, little if taste. Look, a crumb. Uh, if you look for videos that have broken big in the last two or three days that involve children and thumbs ups, uh, right. children, thumbs up, and bicycles, you might be able to find this video. There we it's, go. It's, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great video. Have you guys seen this video yet? I have not seen this video, but I'm sure we will see it. Uh, a million and a half times when you guys uh, when you guys blow it up. Um, it's uniquely it's uniquely inspirational. So so on one hand <laughs> we're still trying to work on the stuff that sort of made us the 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 well honestly able to quit our day jobs, which we're still pretty excited about. Mm -hmm. But I think in the next two or three months we're going to be shooting a pilot for Comedy Central, uh, which is which is really 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 exciting. And as much as people on the internet scoff at TV. Um, I, myself, don't really own a TV. Apparently, a lot of people still watch it. Uh, uh, no, and yes, and, and the are budgets right. are even bigger than YouTube. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Strangely Imagine enough, that. let me Something tell you, there are people who keep saying, oh, TV is dead, cut it the corner. moment, which is Comedy Central. Uh, but yeah, if you look at the NPD numbers, it is it is shocking and terrifying the reach that TV still has over you know over internet media. And so, congratulations to you guys. We could not be happier, and we could not be more thrilled that you decided to slum with us here at NSFW. And do us a favor, denizens of chat realm, look, uh, throw up that Kickstarter page again. kckst slash NSFW Song of Songs song of is where song. you want to go. Head on over there. What? Do right by this man. This guy has brought joy injected straight into your eyeballs while you're freebasing more joy. And that <laughs> is the kind of thing that you owe him money for. So why don't you make one of his dreams? He's already made your dreams come true. Why don't you make one of his dreams come true? Head on over to that address and go ahead and donate. Let's make one Gregory Brothers Day. And I'm going to put it that way in my Kickstarter video. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, Andrew, I know I know you're on a tight schedule, so so we'll let you go. But just just know that uh, we would love to have. Uh, I know uh, yeah, your, your sister-in-law Sarah, or or you know any combination of you and your brothers uh, on the show whenever you guys want. Okay. Cheers. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, by the really way, I think Leet Chicken has already found the video. He, he proudly announces in the chat room, we got it, and he has a YouTube link. I have no <laughs> idea if he's got it or not, but I'm telling you, that's how good the video is. Oh, I have seen this video. That's so amazing. You guys are doing a video on this. That's so great. It's very, very it. inspirational. Very inspirational. That's awesome. Is. That is awesome. Uh, look at this. Yeah, okay, so can we take a look up, at it, actually? Rock and roll. 
Uh, Andrew, thank you so, so much uh, for, for, for coming on the show, man. It really was uh, a pleasure to have you on. Okay, see you guys soon. All right, take care, man. All right, so can we finally, can we finally jump, jump head first in, or do we got to stop and thank sponsors? No. You tell me, Justin. My brain no, is so bad. What? No, no, no. no. We, 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 we got to get right into it. Because, you know, Brian, when you think, um, you know, we had Andrew Rose Gregory, the Gregory brothers, and they're, and they're massive. They're like the Beatles of YouTube. You know, and you think, what kind of franchise could we tap into that would be even bigger than that to an internet audience? Can you think of one? Uh, wait, no, I got this. I got this. I got this. Um, the Warhammer 20,000 series, the tabletop gaming franchise. Two words. Star uh, Wars. Star boom. Wars. Star Wars, Brian. We Number have 30. with us. A man who is a part of the biggest franchise in science fiction history. Hold you on, might hold know on, him. Hold on. <laughs> not just not just a part of the biggest franchise in science fiction history, but a part at its height of of popularity, the biggest it's ever been. This is a man who is part of the canon when the canon mattered most to me personally. <laughs> me, Brian Brushwood. At the age of ten years old, this is what this is. This is a piece of living history who's descended from Mount Olympus to slum with <laughs> us and party like a rock star on the Twit Network for NSFW. You take it, take it from here. I can't even handle it. I can't gaze upon him. I will not. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you might know him as the uh, original Mace in the Star Wars universe, uh, folks. Can you please? I'm trying to find your Kickstarter uh, here. Uh, uh, Eric Eric Walker, ladies and gentlemen, hey. Mace Kawani from the Ewok Adventure himself. Hey, Eric guys, Walker, what's up? Woo! Eric Walker, Walker, this is so amazing, move. dude. This is this is so freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. When Justin told me that he got you interested in coming on the show, I called him a liar. I called him a cheat. I told him he still owed me 50 bucks, and he still insisted that it actually happened. We cannot thank you enough for slumming with us here. This is amazing. No, no, it's my pleasure, guys. It's, uh, I watched your show, actually, and I, I, I enjoyed it. He sent me a clip, and that was the best thing he could have ever done. <laughs> oh, that's great, yeah. because before that, you're like, NSF what? Huh? <laughs> it's so uh, dude, okay, so t tell me, Justin, how do we end up here? What's our what's our game plan here? Because you know me, I've been I'm here at E3. I'm in some stranger's uh, bedroom, stealing exactly. his bandwidth. So I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that I am ready to play, and Eric is here. It's time to play mind chess with bullets. Yes, a absolutely. Uh, well, Eric, and by the way, in true NSFW fashion, we've gone over none of these bits with you uh, previous oh, you to starting the show. <laughs> So it's all going to be live, and and I think you're 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 a cool enough guy to to uh, to roll with it. Uh, do me a favor though, everybody. The reason why Eric's on is another Kickstarter, and this is one that is so 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 worth it. You can be a part of cataloging an element of Star Wars history that has thus far completely gone ridiculously underreported. Go fund uh, Eric's book that he uh, growing up on Skywalker Ranch. Just uh, you can get there kck.st slash m. F C W U I and somebody I'm sure will uh, will get us a snazzy uh, super easy to yeah uh, we got to get a better that, that's uh, Justin I hate to say it but the way URLs work you have lowercase and you have uppercase you would have to retell that telling which ones are lowercase which ones <laughs> okay. are uppercase well, well, everybody you, you who's can, listening you to the audio for... podcast ignore what Justin just said that was totally useless give us a few minutes and we'll give you the right one or you can at the very least go to Kickstarter and search for what what would Eric be some search Walker. terms you could you could search Growing Up on Skywalker Ranch, which is the name of my book. Or you could just go Growing to my up. website, ericwalker.net, and uh, there's a banner at the top of the page that, that will link you to the Kickstarter there project. So, so, there we go. so how, far, how close are you to your goal right now? How much money do you need on the Kickstarter? I'm actually 40%. 40% oh, no, already there. Fix that. So, this is, so, look. And I, mean, I just started it, you know, there's still, uh, you know, about, I think there's like 58 days left or something like that. So we still got some time. Oh, no, don't uh, worry, don't worry. This is going to come true. By the way, kck.st slash NSFW Ewok is all <laughs> you need to do to go make sure that Eric's dream comes true. And now, Eric, here's what we're going to do on this episode of NSFW. We have okay. a lot of curious uh, listeners that when they found out you were coming on, 
they decided to ask you, uh, we, we were we selected through a voting process, five questions for which they felt that needed to be answered. Now, okay. the only caveat is that they are all asked um, with the understanding that Ewoks are real creatures and that you would be the <laughs> foremost expert in answering these questions. We will get to those a little later in the program. Also, you know, I, I don't know if you've... Uh, have you picked up on this? But um, the, the Star Wars franchise, for which you were uh, such an important part of, uh, tends to like to do things in threes, except notably your franchise. Of course, you had two Ewok adventure films and, and not a third. We felt that maybe people would be excited if uh, there was a possibility of, of, of a third one. So what we did is we had one of our resident, or, or sorry, resident, uh, he might have been reticent. He's also well. reticent. He did. Yeah. He was not entirely comfortable with doing this no, project. He was really. reticent okay. about making this project. Put a gun to his head. But, but uh, we had one of our local reticents do what, Justin? Yeah, one of our one of our resident artists, Gadawag, <laughs> put together a trailer, like in the same way that big franchise uh, movies do little teaser trailers before they shoot a single frame. And uh, we would like for you to be part of the trailer for. Yub Nub or Death, an Ewok adventure, <laughs> which would be our pitch for a third Ewok adventure film uh, with, with featuring Mace Tawani all grown up, returning to the forest moon of Endor to, uh, to help his friends. Yeah, uh, now, now and, understand what you're about to see here is the beginning of the trailer. We're going to see okay. most of the trailer, but there's one critical element still missing, and we're hoping that you will help us provide that critical element. Let's take a look at what we have well, actually, leading no, up way, to. Brian, but before before we get to that, uh, let's do let's let's throw that after we talk about our friends at Squarespace.com. Squarespace. Let's, let's what is this? Okay. Yeah, uh, Squarespace.com. Squarespace? Yeah, Brian. See, uh, see, here's the new thing. sponsor. This is exciting. We very rarely ever get a new sponsor <laughs> on the show. This is great. This is great. What do they do? What do they do? It's like a video game, right? Uh, no, 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 no. They've actually squared Cutlery. space. Cutlery. It's, it's, Cutlery. it's a, it's a they, breakthrough they, they, in physics. They're razor blades. Razor blades? Uh, no, no, Brian. They're not. They're not razor blades. Uh, they're they're a website. Pet adoption. Uh, they do pet company. adoption. Pet adoption. Squarespace now, pet what adoption. What on right? earth would be Squarespacey about <laughs> pet adoption, Brian? Uh, they st the pets stay in Squarespaces until you adopt them. That's how they go. That's <laughs> you're saying that they would cordon off. In a very yeah. specific geometrical pattern, a no, bunch no, of dogs. That, in fact, I believe their website shows like sad puppy dog guys with square prison bars all around them, and they're well, like, "Rescue I this mean, puppy!" Who would want to get in bed with a company like that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Look, you're the one who gathers the sponsors, not me. So, if okay, so you're saying the Squarespace isn't a pet adoption agency? Whatever. Okay. Of course not. Although you could advertise your cruel pet adoption agency on Squarespace.com because their websites are absolutely easy to set up. They are completely a uh, free trial through the first two weeks, for which you do not need even a credit card to start. And you don't need to be a CSS wizard, folks. You can get in there, use some of their templates, and, and I heard tell a story where a bunch of fancy pants art people were scouring the internet looking for pretty websites. They came across a basic Squarespace template, and they literally not only, you know, pooped on themselves, but uh, about their general <laughs> vicinity to the point where they had to be escorted out of the local McDonald's for which they were judging this competition. It's absolutely ridiculous that you can go on and get a website of this quality with this kind of functionality, which by the way, never goes down for such a low price. Uh, head on over to squarespace.com slash NSFW and uh, get your two week free trial. Right, Brian? Uh, yes. And let me explain something. First of all, People don't understand how fast and easy it is to make a website on Squarespace. You don't need a credit card. You just need to put in your name, a password, and your email, and you're live. In fact, during this read, people have already registered and created ewoks.squarespace.com and Brian is an animal hater.squarespace.com. That's how fast and easy it is to create websites on Squarespace. Absolutely. And just so everybody knows, if you're listening, obviously we have a very, very, very uh, dedicated and awesome audience. And a lot of people either, you know, getting a Squarespace website and, and starting an account just might not be in the cards for them right now. Don't worry. Go set up your silly website uh, and just get <laughs> used to the tools. It's going to be free for two weeks. You don't need to sign up with a credit card. Just go ahead and, and sign up. I see Yubnub. That's Squarespace.com. <laughs> that is already there. Uh, uh, they love for you guys to just get and take a little test drive of the service. So when you are going to need a, uh, a platform, you know that the fastest, the easiest, and the best 
for making sure that your site won't succumb to a dig or a Reddit is Squarespace.com. Yeah, okay, so you know how it goes. It's like you finally, let's say you put EwokTorturePorn.Squarespace.com, <laughs> right? And all next thing you know, it's on Dig, it's on Reddit, Fox News is crying about it, and the site goes <laughs> down, and nobody sees those sweet, sweet, evil Photoshops you made that should put you in prison. But thanks <laughs> to Squarespace, your evil, hateful Photoshops will live on and on, and you will become internationally hated for your vile depictions of Ewok sex acts. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, there we go. I couldn't have said it better myself. Squarespace.com slash NSFW. Jammer B... Can you please do me a favor and play the, uh, and this is just uh, the, the basic trailer, and we'll explain where you come in here, Eric, okay. uh, for Yub Nub or Death, an Ewok adventure. Yub Nub. Uh, by the way, I, I will be doing uh, narration for the audio list. They fought for their homeland. They struggled against impossible odds. In their darkest hour, they turned to an old friend for help. Jump up or death, an Ewok adventure. <laughs> right, now I understand. It doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. That's the setup. We need some kind of awesome hook to get people into watching the movie. Like, we need to have kind of a big uh, inception, like, Whoop! and then you bust out the one line that's going to that's gonna be the tagline for the summer hit of next year. That's what we're saying. Yeah. So so imagine okay. this. Right now, uh, Eric, if, if uh, you can help us brainstorm, what we want is just that, that one... You know, we have your face. Just look into your webcam, and you just say one line. Uh, you know, as as your your character for which you popularized, uh, Mace Tawani, that uh, that we that would just get everybody excited. Everybody just be like, "Oh my God, I can't believe that that uh, Yub Number Death." Understand, is to understand a also, understand also where you're coming from, and I, and maybe I'm projecting, but I'm thinking the backstory to this is you probably. I know you don't have one now, but I'm picturing you have got like a giant scar over the side of your face. Yes. Like some dark things have happened to Mace in the missing time, <laughs> and he is back to kick some. Yeah, he's not been Ewok stranded ass. on the planet of Endor for the last uh, 35 years. Here yes. we go. Exactly right. And, yeah. so, and so it's like he's coming back, and he's just going to tear the guts out of anyone who touches his, pre, his precious Ewoks, right? And so right. What, uh, uh, what, what, what do you think of Justin? You got anything else? All right, listen, I'm just going to pitch this. I'm just throwing it against the wall. We'll see if it sticks. Not married to it. But I'm thinking, Endor or and No, you didn't. Okay. That's Let's the try. worst idea I've ever heard you say. That is the worst really? idea. Oh, don't. Eric, no, don't you dare grace go. that. <laughs> don't you dare justify that terrible idea by actually saying it. How about this? How about this? Endor. All right. No, no, here we go. Did. Here we go. <laughs> See, okay, I, I understand you're trying to sell it. Justin's idea is still terrible. Okay. How about this? Okay. Well, then go ahead, genius. Hey, there. Uh, go ahead. Come on. Why don't you find okay. one out there? One line. All right, here we go. Here we go. How about this? How about this? Yub dub or death? I'll take death by yub dub. Well, it's Yub Nub. Thanks for paying attention, though, Brian. Uh, no, not yub in this nub world. Or death, or I'll take death by Yub Nub Dub. Yes. See, that's that's the win. Boom. All right. What about Boom. Chat Realm? Chat Realm got something. Chat Realm got something. Uh, yeah, fail. That's what they're saying. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying <laughs> Chat Realm can give us their pick because I'm telling you, <laughs> one of these give is going to be right. Guys. Uh, all right, there's someone saying, uh, Endor will end you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like, what about Endor? The door to pain. <laughs> Ewok Endor versus Ewok. Will end you. <laughs> That's good. All right, here, no, do me a favor, Jeremy, can we go back to, to Eric? I want to see his, I want to see the, 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 the delivery on that, because I think, yeah, we, I no, think we're going to get close. Again. This will be good. Endor will end you. Boom! That's great. Yes. Summer 2012. <laughs>
All right. So we got to win with that, right? That's that's for sure. We, that one's locked in the can. We're going to have well, I don't that. Know. We, we, I mean, I think <laughs> this uh, Endor, it's just the beginning door. <laughs> The begin okay. door. That's what he says. Indoor. It's, the, it's just the door. begin door. Okay, I'll try it. All right. All right, try that one, please. Thank you. Endor. It's just the beginning door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. That was great. That was great. I have one teeny little little bitty note. Can we get more of a question on the first Endor? Like Endor. It's Endor? just the beginning door. No, no. Okay. All right. First of all, both you guys. Not beginning door, begin door. See, that's the whole joke they're making. Begin door, right? That's what I'm yes. saying. All right, there we go. End door? It's just the beginning door. <laughs> All right, listen. All right, listen. We just got to go with it. We just got to roll with it. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like, I like it. That's fine. That's fine, man. <laughs> uh, All right, so here we go. Uh what about this? What about this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Indoor? But, but by the way, since you guys are bringing this up, and it's quite funny, I wanted to share with you a story. I was no. signed, to do, I was signed, by the way, to do three movies. Really? Yes, I was. Dude, so, this is finally, was. we're going to get in your third commitment. Finally. You won't <laughs> have that threat of a third movie hanging over. You'll have that thing wrapped up, dude. This Here is great. Go. It's great. This is going to be great. Uh, all right, well, folks, uh, if we can, if we can get, uh, you know, maybe one more, one more line. I think we have, I think we have the, uh, we, we have that clean, right? Uh, we, we were talking over that like idiots. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, it's the indoor of the world as we know it. Indoor, <laughs> or outdoor. When I say windor, if I kill every Ewok in existence, can we kill this subject? <laughs> um, uh, all right, uh, 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 Fruit Lunch does say, and I think this would be this would be uh, appropriate if maybe we could get one. The original mess is back. Yeah. Yes. All right, there we go. The original mess is back. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's it. We got it. That's full of wind. That's full of eight varieties of wind. Okay, can there we finally? Because I know. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Actually, you know what, Sand Tiger with a late entry. And the alternative is Jar Jar. <laughs> Endor. The alternative is Jar Jar. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. All right. For reals. For reals. Wait, look. All right. Uh, look. No, no, here, here's what we're going to do. Uh, Gatawag, uh, please, if you could, uh, somebody can get him a copy of, of that, and we're going to put it into the new version of that Ewok trailer. We will have it packaged up and, and ready to go. Uh, thank you. Thank you very, very much to everybody who helped us out. Uh, oh, by that. the way, can we real quick, awesome. Jammer B, can you cut over and just give us a view of the chat realm right now? They are exploding with love and affection for Eric's performances. This is awesome in every sense of the word. And once, once we've seen the outpouring of love, here's what I want, guys. I want, <laughs> Shinogo says, by the way, uh, hey, guys, Someone from the firm of Skywalker and Skywalkers on the phone. <laughs> but uh, here's what I here's what I want. I love, is, that, I love uh, that idea that it's so in house that they've bred their own lawyers. That, you know, <laughs> like not unlike the clone planet in Attack of the Clones, they've just raised their own lawyers and they've named them Skywalker. Yes. Um, okay, but here's the important question. I have long suspected. I'm glad to hear that you're part of my team, Justin. For years, yeah. I've known that there's no way that somebody could have just invented the forest moon of Endor, that they could have just formulated these theoretical, beautiful, living teddy bears of the Ewoks. I knew that this had to be secretly a documentary the whole time, and I'm so thrilled that Eric is here live to explain that that's a fact, that all of this was actually documentary, and I'm thrilled that he's willing to take questions from the audience, right? Yes, Indeed. absolutely. So uh, uh, Eric, thank you very, very much. Uh, I know, listen, we've had a lot of fun here on the show so far, but it's time that we take things uh, in a little bit of a serious route, and we're going to ask uh, Eric a lot of uh, you know, awesome questions about his, his book that he hopes to get funded by you guys. Again, that is kck.st slash NSFW Ewok. Uh, we'll make Eric's dream a reality, and he can write uh, his book, Growing Up at the Skywalker Ranch, and include all the awesome uh, tidbits of knowledge that he has collected in his uh, inclusion into the Skywalker uh, universe and the Star Wars films. But, uh, but you know what? We had a bunch of, uh, bunch of questions submitted 
un, you know, with the understanding that uh, Ewoks, as actual biological creatures, are mysterious, and uh, you know, you would be the person to ask these kinds of questions. So uh, they voted on them all through. Of course, you need to be part of uh, our Twitter following, and it's Justin R. Young and at Schwood on Twitter to be part of these games that happen uh, before the show on Tuesdays. But, um, yeah, they, they asked this. Uh, at what age can Ewoks legally consume alcoholic beverages? Um, the answer to that question would be at uh, 221 years old. <laughs> oh my God. Is, is there a reasoning that's for that? Rough. Because that's when they become adults. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever dealt with a 220 year, 21? Have you ever dealt with a 212 year Ewok? I mean, they're like freaking so children. Immature. They're still yeah, they are. Look at Wicked, for example. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he's so immature. The main Ewok. I uh, when we were doing the movie, Tom Smith the uh, was telling me that the Ewok adventure takes place 150 years after the battle for Endor, which is Return of the Jedi. So Wicked is still a teenager. So there you go. Wait, really? Yeah, absolutely. 150 <laughs> years after Jedi? Absolutely. I actually have a video of him talking about it, actually. So. so wait a minute. So wait a minute. So you guys you guys are living in a world where where Luke Skywalker is dead and rotting in the ground, a forgotten memory with maybe a statue or two to keep the world company. That's right. Meanwhile, actually, Wicked's still that's... stealing speeders and running them into trees because he's wasted. <laughs> <laughs> That's an exclusive for you guys. I mean, a, a lot of the Star Wars universe uh, try, uh, try to say that it happened. There was a gentleman who wrote a book in the expanded universe where he put Aubrey Miller, the Sindel character that played my sister, he put her like uh, between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back in his book. But if you go to the e EU is what they call it, the expanded universe, they all yeah. acknowledge that it took place after. Return of the hey, Jedi. Can, can, can I actually ask you a quick question? And I'm going to totally, I'm going to break the fourth wall. And it's like, I'm not, okay. not going to pretend right. this is a bit or anything. Like, I am seriously in love with all of the novels in the, the, the Star Wars Expanded Universe. I loved Tales of the Canteen. I loved Tales of the Bounty Hunters. I loved yes. all the tales. I loved all of Timothy Zahn's work. I loved I, Jedi. Um, we, I was a little bit like sincerely hurt when George Lucas, when he was, and I don't know if he said it offhandedly, when he was working on the previews and he just sort of waved a hand like, oh yeah, no, 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 extended universe, whatever, expanded universe, whatever. And I was just like, whoa, dude, I loved playing TIE Fighter. I love in Grand Admiral yes. Thrawn. I love what people did with that world. I was a little bit like seriously insulted by that. Well, you know, the expanded universe and all those books of what I believe has made Star Wars great. So, yes, uh, absolutely, and uh, and it's kept our imagination, especially during the what they what Star Wars fans call the dead period, which happened like in between eighty five and before uh, it, he it, redid it. It was kind the, of Eric. Right. It, it, it was kind of like this magical time when you could say the phrase, not ironically, you could say the phrase, "Hey, remember Star Wars," and it conjured up this special feeling in people where like it's like it's like you could it was like you're saying remember magic and then they just felt something you know what i mean <laughs> right of course yeah well, can, and, and, can, I, can i ask this uh, eric um is there and and this is my ignorance but i mean is there any controversy to the ewok adventures themselves being considered canon in, oh, in the yeah, star wars been, legacy the, yeah absolutely there's been controversy justin about that a lot actually um uh, but I think a lot of that's been cleared up when uh, Lucas uh, rele he re-released the Ewok Adventures on DVD in 2004, and he put at the top at the top of the DVD Star Wars: Caravan of Courage. So I think Lucas has spoken on that. I think the Ewok movie, the Ewok Adventure, what it was originally called, the Ewok movie, and uh, the Ewoks: The Battle for Endor are considered canon in his eyes. At so, least. Uh, so th think about this, like as far as like the official word of canon, you if you were to experience the entire Star Wars story from beginning to end, you would start with the prequels, of course, and then you would, uh, I guess, and then you would st see Star Wars, then like the Star Wars holiday special, uh, then the, the remainder of the original, but then 150 years later, you've got your <laughs> movies, you are the end of the line, you are the final uh, destination of the Star Wars story. Yeah, absolutely we are. Sure we are. He, awesome. when, we're, when we were making the movie, the producer, Thomas G. Smith, said that's why 
wicked in some of the Ewoks understand English. He That's actually awesome. told me that. So you know. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, uh, back to the the fan questions. Very serious. Yeah, fan come on, questions. come on. Quit screwing around here. We got to find out about Ewoks. Two hundred and twenty-one uh, years old. Is it true that Ewoks were once Care Bears that were cast out of their love, uh, cast out for their love of arrowhead spears, braiding hair, and destroyed space age weaponry with Stone Age tools? <laughs> that is not true. But I've heard that uh, they were once. Uh, I heard that they were once bears, and <laughs> the, re the reason for that is because in the Ewok adventure, there in, in one of the map paintings, there is actually Winnie the Pooh is in, in one of the background images. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a trivia thing that they okay, put Okay, now, there, now so. hold on. Are, are, you, are you asserting that when they were bears, they never once felt anything? They never cared about anything? <laughs> Are you saying they no. were careless bears? <laughs> no, For I'm some reason, situation. all I can think of is is the Puffet to like the Doors like song like when they were bears before they were Ewoks walking around the forest moon of Endor. Or <laughs> two hundred and twenty one years of age they were drinking the booze and getting laid <laughs> when they were bears. Nobody thought that they cared when they're bears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what were you talking about? We have another question. Give us another question. Well, no, Eric. I, I, sorry, Eric. I think I interrupted it's you. Okay. Were you saying something? No, I, I didn't have anything. Well, I do have something new to add. Here's another thing right. that a lot of people don't know. When we were uh, driving... Um, First of all, the Ewok adventure, a lot of it was shot at Skywalker Ranch and also in the Redwoods, up in Roy's Redwoods, and uh, up, which is in Northern California near Lucasfilm. Anyway, when we were driving back, uh, the driver who drove uh, the truck that we were all in, the, the crew uh, truck, he said to me, oh, George Lucas's house is up there on top of the hill. I go, oh, wow, he's right up there on top of the And that was like in Santa and Selma at the time before he moved to Skywalker Ranch. But anyway... He said, and then I turned to my right, and I saw a gas station, and the gas station was called IWOK. I no way. way! I'm not joking. No! And I said, is that how he got his name? <laughs> they just changed it and put an E there. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the kind of, tell me, this is, this is the kind of thing that's going to be in your book, right? All this kind of stuff is going to be in my book. There's lots of stuff in the book, lots of stories that a lot of people didn't know. Um, uh, for instance, uh, do, I don't know if your audience knows this, but who was supposed to play Wicked the Ewok originally? Um, you me, know. but I was only five. <laughs> well, uh, an actor who was in all the Star Wars movies, yeah, he was supposed to play Wicked the Ewok. And he got sick, so he couldn't do the scene with uh, uh, Carrie Fisher, uh, Princess Leia. And his name is Kenny Baker. He was supposed to play Wicked originally. Oh, no kidding. Absolutely. Huh. He got sick. So that's uh, <laughs> so. So we can, we can put to rest the, the, the rumors that are going in in the chat room that uh, Hervé Villages was supposed to originally play <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and also Sorry. Danny DeVito, out of the running. He was never <laughs> going to play Wicked. Yeah. Miley Cyrus, not even born. So let's not just take her out as well. In fact, I, she's not old. She's not as old as she would have to be the other way to play Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of things that happen in Star Wars, is are, it's just magical. You know, I call, and there's a the whole part of my book that's called The Magic of Star Wars. It's stuff that just happened because it was magical. And it's uh, quite interesting. Did you, uh, did you feel that electricity on the day to day? Because as as anyone who's who's been in even a high school play understands that the magic you feel as an audience member isn't necessarily the experience that the actors feel because it's a very grueling, difficult job and you're working very long hours, even then in the middle of it. And for not one but two movies, did you feel like you were part of something special? What was the fuel that kept you going? Oh, absolutely. I felt I was part of something special. I mean, I, I kept pinching myself all the time. You know, I, you feel like you're, you're daydreaming or something. It's, uh, and I knew who George Lucas was. I saw Return of the Jedi probably 10 times a year before, so I knew what I was doing. 
I didn't know that we'd be talking on NSFW 20 something <laughs> years later. <laughs> you know, that yeah. I didn't know. But uh, yeah, of course you did. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, right, I hate so, to backtrack uh, here, but uh, well, just again, so we can clear up these rumors that are propagating on the internet. Uh, you know, there was no truth that an original line, as uh, Herme Villages was going to play Wig of the Ewok, was boss, boss, the dance star, the dance star. Oh, it was not. <laughs> that was not an original. <laughs> See, myth busted, folks. We can put that one up on Snopes.com. The not dance true. star, the dance star. <laughs> <laughs> the one from Rabbit Badger in the chat room. I tell you what, dude. I would pay. I would clean out my bank account to watch an entire twelve-episode series of Fantasy Island reimagined with Chewbacca as Mr. Rourke and <laughs> Wicked as as Tattoo. That would be phenomenal. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, Brian. What you can do is fill your life with all the wonders provided to you by Netflix instead. How about that? Oh my gosh. Dude, uh, you know what's great in Outbag? Here's the thing. <clears throat> the other day, the other day, I went to a biker bar, and I was just casually mentioning. So anyway, I host a show called NSFW. And by the way, next week, totally have uh, some amazing guests. We got a Gregory brother. Got the, we got the kid. We got the original Mace from the Walking Dead. We got OM. And, uh, and he was just like, oh, yeah, well, what do you think about Netflix? I was like, well, to be honest... <laughs> I'm a little bit of a bigger fan of the instant streaming than the fact that you can get DVDs and Blu-rays in just about one business day. This douchebag whipped out a knife, slammed it in, yeah. and he said, say that again to my face. And I looked right <laughs> in his eyes. And I said, Netflix has thousands of titles that you can stream instantly to your PS3, your Xbox, your Nintendo Wii, your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device, and more. And I want to know what you're going to do about it. And he looked me right in the eye and he said, I like Star Wars. And he wouldn't win. <laughs> By That's the way, uh, just for everybody way. listening at home, uh, Biker Bar is Brian's personal code word for frame rate on the Twit Network starring <laughs> Brian and Tom Merritt. Yeah, when, I think of, when I think about it, maybe it was me talking to Tom Merritt <laughs> now that I think about it. That could have been, it could have been a little bit fix, fictitious. Yeah, uh, of course, folks, uh, Netflix, it, what, what can you possibly say about Netflix? It's the greatest service on the planet. Uh, I've spent the last two months watching the entire Larry Sanders show uh, series, and, and it has been to my everlasting delight. Head on over there now, netflix.com slash twit. Gets your free 30-day trial. And you want to know what? If you have Netflix, like I'm sure 80% of our listenership does, just go ahead and tonight watch a little Netflix action. Now, uh, uh, you know, uh, Eric, do you have a, a recommendation? For a movie on Netflix? Yeah. Caravan of Courage. <laughs> I'm just, just joking. I don't just know like if it's that. available, though. <laughs> it's, called, it's called doing your homework, people. It's called You've Got Eric of Caravan of Courage right here in front of your face. And if you want to know what he looked like when he was busy tearing stuff up as the original Mace, OM, as we call him on NSFW, why don't you head on over to Netflix.com slash twit. Get yourself a free 30-day trial. You can get that movie. It's probably on DVD. Arrive in one business day. And you could be sitting there being like, that guy said a line I wrote for a promo. And then that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm talking to like three people right now. There we go. Well, I'll tell you what, Eric, uh, as we wind down the show, uh, I want to throw some of the hard questions here at you. Sure. Um, what are your thoughts on same-sex Ewok marriage? Go. Um, you know, whatever they want to do is fine. You know, <laughs> as long as they just do it with themselves. Sure. As opposed to uh, cross-species same-sex interactions? <laughs> yeah, what about that? Yeah, I don't, no, I don't think Chewbacca should get married to an Ewok, though. So. <laughs> that might be interesting. Well, let's, so, not get, let's not get wild you, here, obviously. There's got to be some rules. No, Since, hold on. Uh, what about, dude, somewhere on the Internet, I guarantee you, Justin, I guarantee you, I swear, I pinky swear, I will bet $50 of my own money that somewhere on the Internet are two very short furries who have created a very special type of pornographic video of Ewok sexual intercourse. Guaranteed. Wait, are you, are you asking me to bet against you on that? Of course there is. In fact, there is right now a live stream that has more people watching than ours that is having that going on right now. <laughs> live stream furry Ewok pornography is more popular than NSFW. I guarantee you there is. 
Oh, there's no fine. way. No way fine. there isn't. What uh, else we got? We got uh, another question, though. Of course, of course. Well, Eric, uh, just, just real quick, is there uh, any other uh, tidbit from the book that might, uh, you know, if people are, are just silly enough to have held on to their wallet for so long through this episode to, uh, to not fund your book, Growing Up at Skywalker Ranch, which, of course, you can hit up on Kickstarter, kck.st slash NSFW Ewok. Uh, can, can you give us one more little uh, tidbit for an awesome anecdote that they're going to read? Oh, sure. I mean, let, let's, let's talk about what they get, first of all. If you yeah, go to hell Kickstarter, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. If you go to Kickstarter.com, uh, I'm actually releasing a lot of Star Wars collectibles that you'll never get. Um, for instance, uh, Warwick Davis and I, who played Wicket, did the uh, making of the Ewok adventure. It was a documentary we did that's never been released. So you can get that. So Really? Um, absolutely. There's a lot of, lot of collectibles that will only be released via this Kickstarter thing. So if you guys go there and pledge, you're going to get part of Star Wars history. And of course, uh, also, you get to become a part of Star Wars history for uh, a certain donation. I'll actually print your name in my book under special thanks. Oh, dude, so that's amazing. You can actually, this is amazing, dude. Yeah. Dude. Well, so listen, I, I, mean, I want to make this... everybody, I want to make everybody a part of Star Wars history. I want to talk about what it was like to be a teenager, uh, living your fantasy, working with George Lucas. There's a lot of things in, in the book which I have not mentioned, including a lot of personal conversations I had with George Lucas himself that are going to be in the book. And uh, I think they need to be told. I mean, I worked with uh, George Lucas directed the reshoots of the Ewok adventure because the, uh, the director, John Cordy, had a prior commitment and he, could, he, he couldn't do the reshoots. And a lot of people believe that George Lucas didn't direct until uh, the prequel started, but that's not true. He directed me for an entire week, so that's going to be what, talked about. In the book. So okay, and and if you don't mind, I don't want to I don't want to spoil your book or anything. But right. but as somebody like, were you aware at the time of the gravity of the fact that George Lucas was going to direct, or this just oh now we have someone else and it happens to be this guy George? I was not only aware of who George Lucas was, I, like I said, I saw Return of the Jedi ten times uh, the year before in a movie theater. And the only reason why I didn't see Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back at the time was because I was very young and they were only in the movie theaters. They didn't have video or VHS uh, back then. It was just starting to come out. Um, and um, I was definitely aware of what was going on and uh, who he was. In fact, I saved a call sheet the, uh, the first day he directed the reshoot, it had his name on there as the director on the call sheet. But the second day, they removed it because he wasn't supposed to, his name wasn't supposed to be on the call sheet. So. Oh, so, so it was supposed to be a secret, actually, that he, yes. was, that he was directing. Yes, and uh, I think the uh, first assistant director, whoever did the call sheet, got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so. That's awesome, there we go. though. Well, listen, I mean, uh, the Star Wars phenomenon, and, and specifically, like you said, it's rebirth past the, the dead period in the uh, you know, mid to late 80s and 90s, uh, is really, it's so fan-driven, and it's such a fan story that this is a great opportunity that, you know, you can, you can be a part of it, and, and a lot of this information uh, can, can get out there. So please do the right thing, kck.st slash Ewok. Uh, and, you know, it's Kickstarter, so throw whatever you can. Yeah, you, know, you throw the guy a buck, you throw the guy yeah, a buck. Yeah, doesn't it's matter. It's dollars closer. Hey, um, if we get, if we get uh, uh, 100 people that give $40, that funds the book. It's only $4,000. There's lots of stuff in the book. I mean, uh, while I was up there making uh, the Ewok Adventure, ILM and Death Zero Light and Magic were doing a lot of movies. Like, I met uh, Ron Howard. He came to the movie set, and he was doing, he was doing test shots for Cocoon at the time. And he said, I, I heard that you're doing a great job, and I got to meet him. I got pictures with him. The other thing that's going to be in the book is there's going to be a lot of photographs of uh, when they let us go on a tour of ILM at the time, and you'll get to see all the, you know, the great wow. uh, sort of effect shots. Yeah, so I, these are all my personal pictures that are going to be in the book. And also, I'm offering that as part of the Kickstarter project as well. There's just a lot of, uh, lot of things that I'm offering. And uh, there's also stories of uh, which we talked about earlier where, uh, where, where I started going to conventions like in Europe because the, the Ewok Adventure was a movie. It was like a Star Wars movie everywhere but here. It was in the movie theater. A lot of people don't know that. And uh, 
there, I had I had quite a lot of fun with a lot of uh, Star Wars, uh, real Star Wars people like uh, David Prowse and I and Darth Vader. We went out one night and we had a real good fun time in Hamburg uh, in the dollhouse section, if anybody knows. <laughs> that, so. uh, hey, uh, real quick, a very good suggestion just came from the chat realm, and I don't know that this will necessarily help you fund your Kickstarter, but it might move more units off the shelf once the book gets published. Any thoughts about changing the title to Walker and or Ranger? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's accurate. That's all I'm saying. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Well, we'll, we'll, right. we'll, we'll I'll keep, I'll well, keep that thought. <laughs> Brian, it would be Walker Forest Moon of Endor Ranger. Oh, I'm Thank sorry. You. Oh, man. Me Thanks. of all people, I should have been the one to not say that Thanks. one. All right, do we have a couple of extra questions before we wrap things up here? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, we have one more. We'll bring it all to a big finish. And again, listen, uh, it, it, it's the hard questions okay. that are, that are going to get asked here at NSFW. Uh, Eric, what's with the Ewok fetish with humans? First Leia, then Sindel. I mean, come on. There's got to be something more going on there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have an answer for that. But I, I, can, tell you, I can tell you that little people are, are a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Especially female little people. So there we go. <laughs> they were a lot uh, of fun. In fact, uh, in the book, I talk about a lot of the great nights they had on Jedi, actually. There were some pretty wild times <laughs> in the bars. We, we, can, we can mark this answer down as a definitive no comment. <laughs> no, comment. <laughs> no comment. No comment. No comment. I'm done. Uh, done. This press conference is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he gets up in disgust. He grabs the microphone. He throws it down. I mean, like, talk about Ewoks that way. I ain't... He turns into Corey Coleman <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, so really, we're not going to get any answers on what Chimera in the chat room is calling forest fever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say there is a, it's alive and well on the forest moon of Endor. <laughs> there we go. There's a reason they helped out those rebels, dude, and it wasn't because they cared about the Empire one way or the other, all right? In Let's fact, just say fact, they were hoping fact, for some spoils fact, I of war. I understand the main, one of the main Ewoks uh, uh, was dating a stormtrooper, actually. Wait, so in real life? That here. Wait, is that is that for reals? Like, like Absolutely, that really Absolutely, in real life. One of the main Ewoks, who's a female, was at <gasps> her boyfriend is actually a stormtrooper in the movie. Oh, and it hooked, it awesome. hooked up, actually, on Jedi, so. That is hot, saucy dish gossip. I didn't <laughs> expect, like, real valuable intel out of this episode. This is awesome. Uh, okay, so one more time, uh, kck.st slash NSFW Ewok. Uh, go on over, look, as, as we said before with the Gray Gray Brothers, this is an episode, it's a cavalcade of dreams right here. We're taking everything that you love about the world and we're giving a chance for you guys to give back. This is the church episode of NSFW. You made Andrew Gregory's dream go true. Why don't you make uh, Eric's, uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to think of something more clear than something more clever than actually saying your name. Uh, but uh, but <laughs> make Eric dreams come true. Growing up on Skywalker Ranch filled with a whole bunch of genuine stories of life on Skywalker Ranch. I understand that we already have several hundred dollars donated. I'm sure we'll get several hundred more once with this goes out, Justin. Is that it? Are we on questions? Uh, I, I think, listen, we're, we're, we, have, uh, we have no more time. I think we've, we've, gone, we've gone the full hour. Eric, Walker, hey. of course, the original Mace Tawani of the Ewog Adventure. Thank you so, so much for coming on. OM's in the house. No problem, guys. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Can you, uh, hey, and I mean this all in all sincerity, Eric. Have you considered, given the age of the internet that we live in and the pent-up love for nostalgia that people have, I kid you not, if you were to record a novelty rap video of OM back in the house, like full on, like, like, like the way the, the, the role of D6 guys do, uh, do a parody of a popular rap song as like Mace coming back with all these clever references to, you know, to calling out Mace Windu or whatever. That would be so unbelievably successful. You know what? We're you know what? Since you, met, since you mentioned it here, let's make it happen. And I can premiere it on your guys' show later. Yes! Oh my God! God. That would be no, it'll happen. It'll <laughs> happen. We will figure it out. 
Dude, if you I have to do it, we're we going to do this. This is money in the bank, people. Come there on. You go. Okay, chat room is exploding with joy at the idea of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to make this happen. Oh my gosh. Uh people are already yeah. suggesting we call this NSFW episode 79 The Clone Lawyers. again, uh you know, we are out of time for questions, so we will not get an answer to whether or not Yubnub does not mean freedom, but uh in fact, where the white women at? Um, <laughs> So we're not going to get an answer to that. So just we're just bury that one deep inside you. Maybe the next time Eric's on. Uh, Eric, where can people find you aside from your Kickstarter? Do you have any other websites to plug? Oh, I uh, I have my main uh, website, ericwalker.net, which you see down here on the uh, NSW, NSFW uh, page. Also, uh, we didn't talk about my music. I actually uh, am oh, a yes. musician. So uh, I have Dude, Eric please. Walker, ericwalkermusic.com. They could go to, and they. I just released a CD called Tangier Dream, and it, uh, I just discovered today it's actually uh, 126 on the charts in the UK, actually, right now. Shut so, up! That's what? awesome, For real? dude! <laughs> Absolutely. That's huge! Yeah, so, and, and I wrote a song, uh, a Star Wars, a tribute song to Star Wars on my album. It's called Return to Endor. So that's why I was telling you guys when you said, about the rap, let's do it. We'll make it happen. Dude, well, I'll tell Eric, Eric. yes, dude. If you got actual music chops, then we're so yes. about this. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, uh, Eric, if you, uh, you want to come on, and I don't know uh, if, if you want to do it live on the show, we would love, uh, we would love to have you on uh, live to perform whatever you want uh, you know, going forward. Well, definitely. Let's, go, let's talk about a guys off the show, and we'll figure out something really fun. Uh, By the way, uh, one of the great, great things about uh, having a song at, uh, you said it was number 100 and what? 126, my album actually is in the UK. Okay, so, so it's 126, no. which means if uh, at, just, uh, at just 95 higher in numbers, it can actually drink alcohol if it were an Ewok, is what you're saying. <laughs> there you go. Right? Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, all right, well, uh, Brian, uh, you're at E3 for how much longer? Uh, for about eight more hours. I am heading back to Austin tomorrow. Got to rush on back. It has been a grueling day, starting with the Nintendo Press announcement, three hours of live streaming. I played Star Wars The Old Republic, talking about Star Wars, and then uh, uh, played uh, two more hours of live streaming, came back over here, finished this. I, uh, I think it's about time for me to have a drink and call it a night. Well, there we go. Uh, of course, at Schwood for Brian on Twitter, at Justin That's R. Correct. Young. Uh, for me, and uh, I'll tell you what, that about wraps it up for this edition of NSFW, right, Bri Bri? Dude, best episode ever. Best guests yeah. ever. Best everything ever. Best day of my life. Do Ewoks <laughs> dream of electric nub nub? That's all I'm saying. Nub nub. Uh, well, there we go. Thank you again, Eric Walker, Andrew Rose Gregory, and everybody else. See you next Tuesday. Let me just explain. Uh, it has been nonstop, and I have to thank Lin Fu for pulling some major mojo because the hotel Wi-Fi where we're staying totally sucks. She called in favors from friends she hasn't seen in a while, and I am in a random stranger's hotel room who definitely has <laughs> better bandwidth than I have, and uh, I am ready to rock it. Oh, okay, I didn't know we had an opening video and everything. Dude, you so – you're – Go oh, Justin, you're the best person ever. You saved the day by rocking the show with my hands tied. I have been running nonstop. I did the Nintendo press announcement with the Wii U, and then Ooh. we did three hours of live streaming from the floor, and then we did... I'm going to skip this one. Then we did two... Uh, <laughs> then we had a break, and I ran to uh, uh, play Star Wars The Old Republic for 45 minutes. Then we ran and live streamed for two more hours, and then I walked outside. I had no idea what I was going to do. A random member of chat realm... Cody, get over here. Come here, Cody. Random friend of the show, Cody, stops by to say, stops by to say hello, and he's like, oh, I just wanted to take a picture. Thanks. And I'm like, no, I need you. 
And, and I'm like, do you have a car? He's like, yes. And I was, I was like, well, let's go. And so we run, we run to the car. He picks me up, picks up John Tilton, drives us over here. Uh, dude, chat realm is everywhere, and their power frightens me. Thank you so much, Cody. Dude. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, a bunch of people are asking me about bricks this week. As always, if you do not have the cash to actually pay for a break, we are paying for a break every single episode of, of NSFW this entire summer long. And we need to jump in because, from what I understand, bricks are running out. If you want to chip in, if you don't want to buy a full brick, go ahead and chip in. Uh, my PayPal is brian at schwinn.com. Just make sure to tag it for bricks so I know that we're going to put it into a big pile. So far, we are well over eight maybe nine no nah, maybe we're up to about eight bricks and um what we may do is fold them into a bunch of the eight by eight bricks because uh those yeah. ones you can actually engrave with special things we're going to decide exactly what we're going to do at some point not tonight but in a couple of days we'll jump on the justin feed follow me at schwood that's at s-h-w-o-o-d or follow at justin r young on twitter we'll announce when we're going to get online and we're going to decide as a group how to spend the money on bricks uh i want to do a couple of custom giant engraved things you walk in and you see a diamond club logo or you see uh you know maybe a qr code that'll link to something uh i love the fact that we are finding a way for everybody to chip in just a little bit and the combined money going to uh, support the Twip Brick House so that NSFW can live on engraved in stone for all the ages to see. Eventually, when society falls apart, <laughs> natives will worship these bricks. They'll think they're holy relics from a past race of gods that existed Indeed. long ago. Indeed. Chariots to the sun, they'll say. That's right. They'll say they'll say chariots of the gods, Brian and Justin. <laughs> they'll say Diamond Club be praised. <laughs> yes, DC bitches. Whereas apparently their cry. <laughs> but they'll, but they'll um, say it really solemnly, and they'll be like, they'll be like, all praise the Diamond Club, and everyone goes, DC bitches. Say, <laughs> gentlemen, I What's did. Up? I had an opportunity to peruse some of the entries in the uh, bricks that have been purchased. And I uh -huh. do want to report that there is at least one brick that says, Grabu Barf. Yes! <laughs> we love badges! And synergy. Synergy! Synergy! <laughs> that is fantastic, dude. My little brother is in a contest with a bunch of other mooks to get a uh, commercial on uh, you know the, the local power authority. He, uh, his video is the lowest middle video so they have all these uh list of three uh three rows here's the lowest one in the middle uh it's a it's that that's my little brother planting a flower just click on that and uh hit like and that's all you have to do i'm gonna and, like uh, it right now yeah just go I'm like it right watch now it. i'm gonna like it blind blind liking blanking is what it's called <laughs> is that like planking Yes, it's blanking is what it is. Uh, blanking. Can, can we play it? Is it safe to play? Yeah, no, it's, it's safe for... Safe for work. Safe for work. Safe for television. Can we try to use less electricity? We gotta go green, baby. Can we try to... That didn't sure. have anything hateful in it at all. <laughs> no. No. What was it no, doing no. on the internet then? Uh, they're promoting uh, green technology. Uh, that's not my mm. brother singing, by the way. That's his friend. Although my brother can sing, but that is not him singing. Well, as we know, uh, because he did the, the I'm, I want a cup. Um, uh, I don't yes. know. Yes. Just a suggestion here. Maybe randomly murder someone in there. <laughs> okay. Well, Brian, you know, listen, it's, it's, a uh, it's. You know, they're, they're going up against people from the Ronald McDonald house showing no, how no, they... No, 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 but, but it's green because you're like, you're like... And then it's like, you know, it's all happy and then he just puts a bullet in the brain of maybe an eight-year-old and it just says, it just says, a human being creates 8,000 tons of carbon every year. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, fix it. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly. Just a little Take suggestion. matters into your own hands.
<laughs> you can fix it. <laughs> Humans only are 100 percent biodegradable. Only you can help the earth by thinning the herd. It's a war against Mother Earth and humans. <laughs> Whose side are you on? NSFW. Yeah!